A happy Independence Day to all of you. And today, I am going to narrate you a story of a man who lived during the era of freedom fights in India. We might have been born as slaves, but we shouldn't die as the same, said a real hero. And for India, he was the majestic rebel of that time. He is none other than Bose, Subhash Chandra Bose. For 300 years, Indians had been living as slaves, but he was a rebel among them. He played a very important role in the freedom fights of India, and his brilliance was far beyond your imagination, and always thought with far-sightedness and deep concern. He was also a great strategist, master of disguise, military commander, and much more. On the noon of 17th August 1945, at 2 o'clock, a Mitsubishi Ki-21 heavy bomber aircraft took off from the Seagan airport, in which Bose was travelling with Japanese Army Liquidant Shidi and Indian Army Colonel Abibur Rahman, along with two other pilots on board. The next day, which means on 18th August 1945, aircraft was refueled at present-day Taiwan. Fuel tank was full and they felt that they were good to go, so they started. Soon after ignition, within seconds, aircraft picked up high speeds, but a few moments later, everyone in the airport heard a big blast from above the runway in the sky. Then masses came outside and stared at the sky with curiosity to watch what happened. They all were shocked. Soon after taking off, jet's engine got failed and stopped working. Jet got crashed. Pilots and lieutenants are spot dead. Colonel Rahman lost his consciousness. Crowds are looking at the crashed aircraft and doubted if anyone are alive. In the meanwhile, a man came outside by breaking Judd's door, and he was none other than Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. His uniform was dripping. He rubbed his hand on his shirt and smelled it. He came to know that the aircraft's fuel tank got leaked and he was soppy wet with gasoline. Suddenly from the burning aircraft, a small spark of fire got burst and spilled on Bose's uniform. In front of all, Bose's body began to burn and was turning into ashes. They tried to save him, but they were too late. His body already got burned almost completely. Then they took him to a nearby military hospital named Non Mond and admitted him. But his body was subjected to 30 degree burns because of which he went to a coma and died the same day. On August 20, 1945, his death ceremony had taken place in Taiwan itself. And on August 23rd, it was officially announced that 48 year old Subhash Chandra Bose has expired. Whole India mourned on his death. After his death, his ashes are preserved and worshipped in Renkoji Temple in Japan. But wait, this was the story told to us by the history. But the real question comes when we think about how much of the story is real. Did Netaji really expire or his death had been faked by himself? If so, then why was his death faked? If Bose is not dead then, at present where he is, in which disguise did he spend the rest of his life? Today we are going to unveil all these mysteries. Hi everyone, this is Pranidit Kumar and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video on YouTube and I hope you all enjoy it. And if you do, then only click like, share, comment and please subscribe my channel. And if you like to get more updates on my channel, then click the bell icon by the side of subscribe button. So let us start our episode. Firstly, we will know some interesting facts about Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Bose was born on 23rd January 1897. 
in 1918 he completed his BA in philosophy he was always a topper in education he studied in cambridge university he was fourth ranker in indian civil services exam held in 1920 later on he joined indian civil services on one fine day when he was in kolkata outside an english club he saw a statement written here indians and dogs are not allowed by seeing this his blood got boiled and triggered his anger you came into our country our land our wealth and now treating us like dogs he thought he dreamed about an india with freedom and decided to fight against the british raj in 1921 he resigned from indian civil services and joined the indian national congress in his talent and motivational speeches he grew quickly into a higher official in the party and was respected highly once upon a time a man competed on the side of gandhi to become party president of indian national congress but netaji won against him with a great majority at that time in a public meeting gandhi spoke to the masses that they should win freedom only on the path of non violence after gandhi bose told that we can follow non violence if we have sufficient army and power but without anything if we follow non violence our enemies will surely think that we are cowards and we can't do anything so i will form subhash sena that is subhash army and with that speech he became a very influential leader in the party but later subhash was not liked by gandhi and his followers in the party and had hatred on each other so bose himself resigned from the party and he left he thought that we should get help from other countries against british like japan germany and russia to fight against british in india the only army which fought against british in india was subhash sena for uniting with other countries he left india and traveled abroad and while traveling he hired a personal assistant named emily for her shorthand sk- typing skills after a few months they both fell in love with each other and married secretly and for the next 5 years wherever he went he took emily along with him but still no one knows that they both are married 5 years after their marriage they got a baby girl by god named anita bose when anita was 4 years old she saw her father for the last time bose had to go and promised them both that he will return but they did not know that was the last time they are going to see him in 20 years of his political life he was arrested 11 times in 1940 when he was arrested and he has to be produced in court after 6 months at that time india is in the last stage of freedom fight bose thought at that time he was very necessary to the whole country and he should unite with anti british allies together to fight in india so he decided to escape from the jail and prepared a plan he grew his beard for 3 months did not eat anything for the last 5 days and became ill in this freedom struggle situation if anything happens to bose then people will storm on the british thought the englishman so they sent him to home guarded with policemen and house arrested him after reaching home bose sent a secret telegram to his friend akbar shah after some time akbar shah came to his house and netaji disguised as a muslim insurance agent with fake documents and named as mohammad jiauddin that night they both cheated the police and escaped from the house after hearing that bose escaped whole india fell in a confusion whether british killed him or he escaped bose went to peshawar with fake documents and from there he went to russia but at afghan borders he was stopped by soldiers 
Then Bose did not speak a word and was coughing heavily and told a young boy with him to speak to soldiers. Then the young boy told that Bose was his uncle and they are going to a nearby mosque to pray for his uncle's will illness. Soldiers believed the story and left the in Russia Bose changed his name as Orlando Ojando. He made Russia spies to believe him and traveled to Germany. In Germany he met Hitler and discussed the release of 10000 Indian war prisoners and also made Hitler accept the agreement successfully. In Germany radio service released a shocking news that the lost legend of India named Subhash Chandra Bose was safe in Berlin. On hearing this news, India became extremely happy and believed that Bose will never die so easily and nobody can kill him. A photo in which Bose is with Hitler was published in newspaper. This photo made British tremble with fear because at that time Hitler was at a position in which he can rule the entire world. But in 1945 a news was published stating that Bose was dead in a jet accident but followers of Bose did not believe this. Now let's know what might had happened to him. When I studied his death event there are so many loopholes which are so close to reality and also might be the truth. I collected top 10 proofs which strongly prove that Netaji is still alive. Number 1. In 1995, Kolkata's Asiatic Society went to research on Indo-Russian files in Moscow. In the middle of the research, they found a strange file. It's a Russian KGB report. It's written that things won't happen strongly with Gandhi ji and Nehru ji. So this is the right time to use Subhash Chandra Bose. But the twist was that this file was prepared and was written in 1946 which means 1 year after Bose's death in the jet. So this was the first doubt. Number 2 in another confidential file A discussion between Molotov and Stalin was recorded but here they are talking about where to keep Subhash Chandra Bose even this file was written one year after his death so this was also a mystery number 3 BBC took over a research program in 2003 and found official proofs stating that from August 14 1940 to August 20 1940 no plane was crashed in Taiwan then how can we tell that on August 18th Netaji was dead in a plane accident when there are official proof that it did not crash number 4 there are no photos of his dead body and neither his post mortem reports nor his death certificate were found till date Number 5 The Indian colonel Abibur Rahman himself told that he had never saw Netaji's dead body. Number 6 Bose driver Osman Patel told that when Netaji returns to India he will be taken as a war prisoner by the British and will be handed over to the British. This agreement was officially signed by Gandhi ji, Nehru ji, Muhammad Ali Jinnah and Maulana Azad. This agreement was prepared 2 years after his death. So, does British know that Netaji was still alive after plane accident? Number 7. A team went to the plane crash site and found that the plane's crash images are fake because in those photos mountains are captured. But between the airport and mountains a river named Keeling should be flowing, but it's missing. in the photos so they proved that those pics are fake number 8 20 years after the independence of india lal bahadur shastri went to russia to write a peace agreement 
he told his family members that after coming from russia he will open up a big secret about boost to india and everyone will be shocked but strangely he died in russia due to heart attack which was another mystery but what is the big secret that he wants to tell to india number 9 till date three committees are assigned by indian government to investigate whether plane crash incident was real or fake the three committees are navas committee in 1956 gd kosla committee in 1970 mukherjee committee in 1999 first two committees stated that bose was dead but the third committee stated that bose was alive and told that the ashes in renkoji temple are the ashes of a japanese soldier who died due to heart attack so by now you may get a doubt like then where is bose and that is the 10th proof proof number 10 after a few years of bose death a baba appeared in uttar pradesh faizabad his name is gunami baba he looks just like bose he also celebrated his birthday on 23rd january it seems even bose celebrated his birthday on the same day he died on september 16th 1985 Even Gunami Baba's handwriting is same as Bose's, and this fact was proven by forensic department. Years after his death, his suitcases were opened, and all were shocked by seeing the things inside the suitcase. In the brief, which he always had with him, contained German binoculars, golden-framed spectacles. guns of that time and newspaper clippings in which it is written that bose was dead and his family photos which are sufficient to make anyone believe that he is bose so these are top 10 proofs that netaji did not die in plane accident there are three possibilities in which netaji lived in disguise after faking his death number 1 he might be living in russia forever after meeting hitler number 2 there are rumors that he might be killed by stalin for cheating russia's intelligence number 3 he might have lived rest of his life as gunami baba in disguise in congress party many big leaders try to erase the netaji's name from people's heart and he was not honored for his acts of bravery till today which is quite shameful but he was living in our hearts till today because he brought the slogan jai hind which is proudly said by every indian after national anthem jai hind